let's look at sending text strings from Touch Designer over OSC into Resolume. So this is a bit different than using the float values in an OSC out chop. And for this, we're gonna send the song lyrics. So I've chosen Technologic by Daft Punk. So I've found the lyrics online here. I'm just gonna copy and paste all of those. So copy that and jump back into Touch Designer. For that, we're gonna use a dat, a text dat to hold that, that data. I'll zoom in, make that active and just paste all of that in there. You can deactivate that now. All right, so what we wanna do is we're gonna use these lyrics, but we wanna change that into a text field in Resolume, one line or one lyric at a time. So first we need to convert this into a table it's name convert, so convert dat. You can see it's given you all the rows. We still only have one column. And we want to break up these lines of text into different columns. And because there's already a comma there, we can use the comma the separate by comma value. So change that to a comma. And now it's broken it up for us. We've got four columns and all the rows in the song. So what we want to do is we want to select one cell at a time, and that's what we're going to send. So for instance, we'll use a select dat. We'll send those values in. Right now it's sending the whole table. If we have a look at the parameters or the properties of the select dat, select all rows. So we want to change that to a specific one by index and the column by index as well. So right now it's selecting all. If we bring that back down to zero and this one back down to zero, it selects the first one. If we go to the next row, so row one and one, it selects the next one as well. So next row down. So what I want to do is we want to change the column first. So count up the columns. So next one, column one, to move across, and then we'll jump down and go to the next line. Let's just go back to zero for now. So we want to do this with another operator. So we'll use a count operator. So a count chop. And what this requires, this needs an input to tell it when to count. So it's going to count in increments. And we'll use a button for that. Sorry. So we'll use in the touch design predefined palette under UI buttons. We want a momentary button. What this is, is it only sends a value whilst it's pressed down and releases back to the normal value. So if we have a look at it now, we'll use an analyze chop. And we'll activate that. So because it's momentary, so when I'm holding it down, it's at one and it goes back to zero. So you just want to flash each time. And that's the value that the, the count chop needs to increment. So if we pipe that into the first input, every time it gets clicked and this value goes above zero, it'll count up. So we need to reset that now. So under count pulse reset, and let's make another button to reset as well. So button momentary, because we can use the second input as a reset value. So we'll use that button as our reset button. So one, counting up and we'll reset. All right, so this is gonna tell us which column to look at. So let's rename this chop to col, so we know what, what it's doing. And right now, under start column index, we we'll use a Python script, look at operator, col, Switch so operator call and the parameter v1. I want our end column index to be the same. So let's just copy and paste that straight there as well. All right, so right now this is zero. It's telling this to look for column zero. If we hit this button one, one, now it's looking at column one. We keep going up to three. Now it's looking at four. We don't want to go to column four. So we want this to get to column zero, one, two, three, and then reset back to zero. So in the count chops properties, limit, loop. So we want it to go back to the start every time it's finished. So loop min max. So zero, and we want the max to be three. So now when we click this, we'll reset that value. Zero, one, two, three, and it goes back to the start. So right now we're going through these columns. We're not getting to the next line. We need to tell which, we need another count to tell it which row to go to. So add another count chop. 
and this is going to be our row. And we want it to count every time this one has completed its run. So I'll use a math chop. And so this is going to be our trigger for this one. We want it to get to one every time it's done its full round. So let's change the range. So right now it's one to one from range from three to one. So now when we go through, it'll count up and then we get to zero, go back down to zero again. If we have a look at it now, it's going too soon. We want this to change every time this we want the row to change every time we start back at column one. So back in this count, if we look at our count options, instead of changing every time it goes from off to on, so when this goes above zero, we'll turn that off. We want it to go every time it gets back to zero. So every time it goes from on to off. So increase count, on to off. Now for a reset, and let's connect this reset button to this chop as well, so we can reset them both at once. So zero, zero, two, three, and when we go back to zero, we want this to increase as well. And there we go. So we're on our second line and we're back at zero. Now we need to tell this select to listen to this chop the same way. So we'll add a script in there. Similar to before, look for operator, this time row, value, sorry, V1. And we want the end row to be the same thing, so we can copy and paste that. All right. Now when we click through for reset everything, we should see this go buy it, yes, use it, break it, fix it, and now it should jump down to trash it, which is the first column of the second row. And trash it, there we go. All right. Reset that. This is the value we want to send via OSC. So for that, we did an OSC out, that and let's call this OSC res for OSC res loom just so we know what it's sending to we can't send that directly what we need to do is use a python script or an execute script to tell it to send that value every time this select that changes let's call this lyric for now So every time the lyric changes, we're going to send that text via OSC. And, we, and to do that, we use an, a dat execute. So what this is doing, it's listening to a table and running certain commands on a change. Make that bigger for now. What we want to listen to is this lyric dat. So if we drag that in, on that, whenever that table changes, it's going to run one of these scripts. So let's make this active now. On table change, so you can delete the others. We don't need these ones. This is the only one we're looking at. And so the script we want to write is I want to tell operator OSC res to send OSC. Very important, this needs to be in capital, otherwise it won't recognize it. So the first part is the OSC path. And the second part is a list value of the OSC string. So these don't actually mean anything at the moment. These are just variables that I've put in for now. And what we need to do is define what we want those to be. So we can define that at the start here. We need to define the OSC string. And we'll need to define an OSC path, which we'll get from Resolume. So these are just variables that are pulling data that will be here. So the OSC string is this first text here. So what we want is we want to look for the operator 
lyric. And what we want is we want the value from cell, and there's only one cell, so we want the value from cell 0, 0. Now for the OSC path. So this is going to be a text field. We'll jump over to Resolum to have a look at what we need for that. We'll grab some other values whilst we're there. So first of all, we're going to check that our port numbers are correct to send into Resolume. So looking at Resolum, under Preferences, OSC, our incoming port is port 7000. Now, outgoing port, the port Resolume is sending from is 8000. We'll just set this broadcast for now. And we've made sure both of those are active. So what we want to do is we want to create a text block. So just in our sources, text block. And this is the text we want to change. So if we go to shortcuts, edit OSC, click in that box, this is the path. So that first one is the direct path to that one specifically. The second path is variable based on whichever clip you have selected. We want the one that's a hard coded value to that path. So we'll copy that and exit OSC editor. And we'll jump back into Touch Designer. So we port 7000, that's the correct port from our output OSC. In here, this is the path we want to change. So that's what we just copied. We paste that in, composition layers. That's the direct path, the text field. Okay, now if we run this, so reset, click that button once, and the first one is buy it. And now if we switch over to Resolume, we can see that text has changed to buy it. If we activate that, it shows up on the screen there. All right, so that's all working. Now we don't want to switch back and forth between Resolume and Touch Designer constantly. And because Resolume can also send OSC data, let's make it so whenever we click this button or this clip, it changes that text. So we can keep clicking and change that text to match the song. So to do that again, we go into, we want to find the output. So edit OSC, that clip trigger, this is its output channel as well. So we copy that first line. Exit that, jump back into Touch Designer. We can deactivate this now and shrink that down. That's doing what we need it to. We want to create a thing, we want to send a button trigger to this count every time that clip's clicked. For that we'll use an OSC in chop. Now if we set this to 8000, which is Resolume's outgoing port, we will see all the OSC data coming from Resolume. Now there's a lot of data coming in. But we just want to select that one path. So we just select chop. And in channel names, we'll paste that path. One thing to note is once the OSC comes in, it removes the first slash. We take that out. And now we're just receiving that channel. That clip is clicked, it will flash on and off. Now let's rename this so it matches what our channel names are here. So rename from wildcard to v1. And now we can plug that straight into our count chop. Every time Resolume's clip is clicked, it will trigger these values and we'll run our script. So let's switch over to Resolume now and have a look. Now when we clip this, click this clip trigger, we can see the text is changing. It's the same clip, it's just sending OSC data over to the Touch Designer and Touch Designer is sending back the text to change. We can go through the whole song like that just by clicking that clip. And because it's in Resolume, we can change all of those text values here and still receive the same thing. And that's how you send OSC to text string data out of Touch Designer.